thousand periods of of one minute intervals. So let's go to the data, and then we're going to go to the analysis and data here. And so now I want to have the random number generator, and I'm going to say okay. Random numbers in accordance with I'm going to put one for the number of variables. That's going to be the columns. So I just want one column. Number of random numbers. We're going to put a thousand of them. So that means it's going to output a thousand numbers, mirroring a thousand minute intervals that we've, we're sitting there with our stopwatch. And then we're going to say that we want it in accordance with a Poisson uh, distribution and lambda is going to be the mean, which I'm going to put at 2.75. So we need that condition. We wouldn't have that if we we're sitting there with our stopwatch, although we might have an idea of what it is uh, given past, given you know the past performance as we're sitting there at our line, putting people on the roller coaster and whatnot. So I'm going to put this on E3. And so there we have it. And that's it. So let's go ahead and say, okay, so now we're imagining that we're sitting there and we, we have our stopwatch and for the, for the first minute, four people arrived. Next time, three people arrived and then two people arrived. Notice that the mean over here is not a whole number, right? Obviously, uh, you know, it's, it's because it's an average. So if we're sitting there with our stopwatch, it's not like 2.75 people can actually arrive within a one minute time period, right? Because we're not, it's not like we're going to half count someone if they like are missing a leg or something. <laughs> so they're still a whole person, even if they don't have like a limb. Anyways, you know what I'm talking about. So we're going to say, so every one minute, so in this one minute, six period people arrived in this one minute, uh, three people arrived and so on and so forth. So this was in accordance with a Poisson distribution of a mean of 2.75, but there's still that element of randomness to these generated uh, numbers. Okay, so so now what I'm going to do is say, let's put these into like our buckets. So I'm going to say this is our data. We're going to say these are the number of arrivals. And this is going to be the frequency. And then we'll have the percent of total over here. I'm going to make this into headers so i'm going to select these items home tab fonts group black white we're going to center it and then i'm going to wrap it all right and so then we're going to say okay the number of arrivals i'm going to the, notice when we think about these arrivals at a ride it could go up forever in one minute time period you could have infinite number of people show up in theory but that's not in practice what's actually going to happen because it's going to taper off at the tail end uh, as we go. So I'm just going to go up to a, a reasonable number. Let's just go up to like 29, let's say. So I'm going to start at zero. You could have zero people show up in a one minute of time period, one and so on and so forth. I'm going to put my cursor here and drag it down to get to 29. Let's go to 29. Why 29? I just picked it randomly. Then we're going to use our frequency, which is our buckets. Remember that you could use, you might say, hey, look, I'm going to use the count if function, which would look like this equals count if brackets. The range is this shift. I'm holding control shift down and then control backspace to get back up, comma, criteria is that and then enter however sometimes when you use that formula like sometimes it gives us a number that it's not picking up because like it's not a whole number or something like that so the frequency spill function is a safer thing to use typically so i'm going to say no let's not do that let's use the frequency which is going to be equals frequency and this is going to be an array function and I'm going to pick up my data array. I'm going to put my cursor in E3. Kind of hold down Control Shift down arrow. Takes me down to the bottom. I want to get back up to the top without unhighlighting this. Holding Control Backspace, getting me back to the top, comma, and then the bends. The bends are going to be starting on G3. Holding Control Shift down. Takes me down to that 29 to get back up. Holding down Control Backspace back up to the top and enter. So now it's spilled it down. 
I don't want it to go down to 33 here, so I'm just gonna cut off the last bit. So it, it's going to, I'm just gonna say, bring that to 31 and see if that, so now I've got it nice and even. So that looks good. Now I can double check if my numbers make sense because the total here should add up to uh, a thousand because I spit out a thousand numbers, right? So I'm gonna equals the sum. I'm gonna use my keystroke, fast keystroke, alt equals sums up sum it up the right area enter a thousand so it looks like it's picking up uh the right numbers and then i can look at the percent of the total if i look at the percent of the total i can say this equals this divided by 